From dailymail.co.uk, Europe's open borders would close for two years under EU plans. Migrants' crisis set to bring end of Schengen's passport-free zone. Europe's border-free travel zone could be suspended for two years amid a warning from the French Prime Minister that mass immigration could kill the entire EU project, ripping up one of the EU's most sacred rules. The tumult triggered demands from Tory MPs for David Cameron to seize the moment and increase his own demands in Britain's EU referendum negotiations with Brussels. Eurosceptics said that, with borders being reimposed across the continent, now was the time to demand Britain should be able to impose its own limits on free movement. On a day of drama in capitals across Europe, Mr Cameron admitted he could drop his demand for a four-year ban on migrant benefits if Europe offers an alternative. The Czech PM said Britain could be offered a so-called emergency break instead, allowing temporary limits on EU workers. A poll showed the UK's referendum race remains neck and neck, with stay on 52% and leave on 48%. EU figures showed a staggering 1.25 million migrants arrived in Europe last year. Turkey promised to German Chancellor Angela Merkel it would do everything it could to stem the tide of migrants. The Slovenian PM warned there would be conflicts between EU member states unless the crisis was brought under control within weeks. Some 26 countries removed border controls between each other under Schengen, but this unravelled as the migrant crisis took hold. French PM Manuel Valls told the BBC it's Europe that could die, not the Schengen area. If Europe can't protect its own borders, it's the very idea of Europe that could be thrown into doubt. It could disappear, of course, the European project, not Europe itself, not our values, but the concept we have of Europe that the Founding Fathers had of Europe. Yes, that is in very grave danger. That's why we need border guards, border controls on the external borders of the European Union. The European Union's sacred rule, the Schengen Agreement. The agreement was signed in the town of Schengen in Luxembourg on June 14, 1985, by five out of the ten member states of the European Economic Community. Belgium, France, Holland, West Germany and Luxembourg. The Schengen Agreement allows people from member states to travel freely across the continent without a passport, as all 26 participating countries agreed not to impose border controls. The countries signed up to the agreement are Austria, Belgium, the Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, Latvia, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland. Britain and Ireland chose not to join the agreement, while Croatia and Cyprus are also not members. Bulgaria and Romania are in the process of joining up. Many refugees and migrants are exploiting the Schengen Zone, by moving freely through Europe to find countries that are more likely to grant them asylum. In response to the spiralling migrant crisis, some countries have been bringing back temporary checkpoints between each other to stem the flow of people and get back control of who crosses their borders. In November, an emergency meeting of EU Justice and Interior Ministers discussed the possibility of redrawing the Schengen Zone, with leaders posing whether it could become smaller. He appeared to blame Angela Merkel for declaring that Germany would welcome one million migrants, adding, If you say anything in Europe today, a few seconds later, it's on the smartphones of people in refugee camps near Libya. Nine nations have already requested temporary border controls, and yesterday it was revealed ministers are considering suspending the border-free zone for up to two years. In Amsterdam on Monday, interior ministers will for the first time look at invoking their emergency clause to bring back checks for a prolonged period, if leaders agree that there are systematic deficiencies in the control of the borders. Tory MP Peter Bone said it was now clear that people around Europe wanted control, adding, We should have complete control of our borders and be able to let in exactly who we want. 
I hope that David Cameron is hammering this argument home in Brussels. Tory MP David Campbell Bannerman said Mr Cameron was now in a very strong position to defend fundamental change. But on a visit to Prague, the PM gave no indication he will be more ambitious as he seeks changes ahead of Britain's in-out referendum. Czech Prime Minister Boislav Sobotka played down the prospect of the UK securing a four-year ban on migrants claiming benefits from their arrival in the UK. Instead, Mr Cameron may have to rely on EU legislation, which allows a temporary break on migration, if it is destabilising public services. Eastern European states, with large numbers of citizens in the West, are adamant they will not accept curbs on in-work benefits that are discriminatory against their nationals. Mr Cameron insisted the four-year proposal was still on the table, but said he would welcome alternatives. It is the first time an EU leader has publicly suggested an emergency break is on the table, though it has been discussed behind closed doors for months. But Steve Baker, the Tory MP who chairs Conservatives for Britain, said the British people want their government to be able to control borders, not shut the gate when the horse has already bolted. Former Prime Minister Tony Blair warned the EU would face a huge political problem if terrorists were found to be entering Europe amongst the refugees. The latest survey for the independent newspaper by ORB revealed 52% believe Britain should stay in Europe a figure unchanged from last month. German Interior Minister Thomas de Maizière said he could not foresee a moment when the emergency measures to suspend Schengen would be lifted, and Swedish and Dutch PMs warned the EU had just weeks to avoid its demise. And if you look at some of the non-mainstream media video footage of migrants crossing the borders into Europe and across different countries in Europe, I'm sure you'll agree that something has to be done to stop this tidal wave of human movement.